Good morning, morning Colts. I'm your goofy uh, anchor Schaefer. I'm your top G anchor John, and this is KTV for April 10th. Man, I can't believe spring break is over because I was having so much fun skiing with my family. Oh, that sounds fun. Did you see Julie Furtado? She was a very famous skier. Julie found a scholarship at the Stratton Mountain School of Ski Academy and became the youngest member of the U.S. National Ski Team in 1982. I didn't see her, but I do know that she had her sixth knee surgery and got another scholarship to the University of Colorado Business School in 1987. At that time, she decided to try cycling. And in her first year of racing, she won the Collegiate National Road title in 1989. In 1990, she went on the U.S. World Championship team and went to the race at the Worlds in France. Afterwards, early 90s, early 90s mountain biking became popular, and Julie fell, fell in love with the sport. Over those next six years of mountain biking, she went to... She went to win five national championships, three World Cup titles, and another World Championship. I really love mountain biking, but I'm a, baseball, I'm a devoted baseball player by heart. Good for you, because the baseball season starts on the 30th, but I don't know much about baseball. Can you tell me more about it? Sure. Did you know that when World War I was starting, the USA needed more people to fight, so they turned to the MLB players. In total, 227 major league players were serving in different strands of the Army. I heard there were several future or current Hall of Famers, including Christy Mathewson, Branch Rickey, Jackie Robinson, and Willie Mays. Wow, basketball is so cool. Thanks, my G. Also, for opening day, the teams are scheduled to play the Detroit Tigers at Camp Tampa Bay Rays at, at 3.10 p.m. Golly gee, that's a lot of facts. However, I th predict the Sports Corner has more facts than you, Schaefer. Let's go check in with Jordan in the Sports Corner. Colts for today's Good morning Colts. For today's sports news, there is a track meet this Thursday at 3:30 at Casa Grande. Congratulations to the KJHS track team for a great performance against Adele Harrison and Altamira. Also, did you know that today is the WNBA draft in New York? I hope that the new team called the Las Vegas Aces gets the best player in the draft. Well, that's all for sports. Now back to the KTV studio. Thanks, Jordan, for that sports report. Our cult runners did so well. I bet they eat a lot of food before their meats. A little bird told me what's going to be on our lunch menu. They told me it's a surprise. I do smell a faint whiff of pizza, though. Well, I hope it's chicken alfredo. It's so scrumptious. I actually wrote a poem for lunch since I'm so hungry. Well, then, Shaver, let's toot that horn, then. I'm feeling proud as a punch as I sit here having lunch. On a lettuce leaf I crunch, a whole one I have to munch during this happy and bright lunch. My turn. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in and shake it all about. You do the hokey hokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Woo! Um, John, what are you doing right now? Schaefer, what's it look like? I'm singing the hokey pokey, you silly goose. You definitely should sing that for open mic poetry reading. I'm definitely going to read my amazing poem about lunch. I'll go with you, Sha I'll go with you, Schaefer. The poetry reading's on April 21st in the li The poetry reading is on April 21st in the library at lunch. Hopefully I see some of you guys in the audience. While I'm in the library, I'm going to get a book about writing good poetry. I haven't read a good book in forever. I heard Miss Parnes has a book recommendation for me called The Elasto. Hi, Colts. I have another book recommendation for you today. The title is Elatsue, and it's by Darcy Little Badger. And it does take place in America, an America like ours, but also not like ours, because there's magic. So there are fungi portals where you can transport yourself from one place to another. And Alatsue has a skill that's been passed down through her Lipan Apache ancestors. She can raise the spirits of dead animals. And one of those animals is her pet dog. There's beautiful illustrations throughout the book. And also her beloved cousin has been murdered. And all of this comes together in a murder mystery with magic and a lot of great pieces of indigenous legend. So if you want to read a book that has everything and a great character, and it was one of my favorites uh, from last year, come on over and check out Alatsue. And I have multiple copies of this one. So Bring your friends. 
Thank you, Miss Parnes. That book is definitely made for you, John. Is there a small breeze in here? Because I feel a little cold. I do too. Let's go check the weather studio with Allie. Good morning, Colts. Today there will be a high of 55 and a low of 36, and about the same for the rest of the weekend. But on Monday, around 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., there will be a 45% chance of rain. Tuesday, it will consistently rain all day, but on Wednesday, it will be raining very little, just in the early, early morning. Also, Colts, it's going to be pretty windy, so make sure your hat, or you, don't fly off. <laughs> now time for a joke. Whatever happened to the cow that lifted into the air by their tornado? Utter disaster! That's it for weather. Now back to the KTV studio. Thanks, Allie. Er, go. Thanks, Allie. I hope I don't lose my hat in the wind. I got a surprise in the Hollywood dance. That dance was so fun. I took so many amazing photos. Hopefully I get them soon. A special someone told me that there will be an announcement sometime this week so you can pick up your photos. Wait, you had a special someone? No way. Well, good golly. We'll turn that leaf later. Seems that we've run out of time. Make sure to listen for that picture announcement. Smell you later, Colts. And that's KTV.